long, long time ago. I got some uh, photos and I might have some video clips, I think, from this building. But this is a, like an old, famous old building. Just take my advice. Don't try to explore this place. This place is not safe. It's not a good place to go to. It's just an old relic sitting here on the water. In Buffalo, New York, they got a lot of silos like that as well. I like these pieces, they're kind of cool. Yeah, I have no idea what's on this wall. I'm seeing this for the first time. It's like a little forest over here. Where Ikea is right now used to have another painting pit, like in like 2005, 2006, it was similar to this with the, the blocks. It's so crazy how it's just like basically a reflection of what used to be here because Ikea never used to be here. That went up like what, like 2005, six, like 2009, I think, eight or nine. And there was nothing down here. This was no man's land. But now they got a park here. I want to check out these walls because I've never seen these walls before. It's kind of cool. A lot of weird styles on this wall. It's cool though. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I can't hate on that kind of stuff because clearly someone was focused enough to come out here and paint and uh, have a direction to do whatever it is that they, they were interested in painting. And that's art. That's usually how it goes. But rather than trying to See, if I was to actually paint something like this, I'd be mad at myself at the end of the day. I'd be obsessing over like why certain lines aren't straight. But this, there's a diff obviously a different level of focus here coming from the artists themselves. So I just noticed a lot of controversy over this kind of style. You, know, you got the 3Ds, the arrows, but, you know, it's here. It's, it's a different era. It's a different... Everything's changed. I don't know. It's expectations. It's... it's easy to assume, say, hipster, this. I, I don't know. I don't, honestly, I can't keep up anymore with the trends. I just know graffiti history, New York City graffiti history. So you got this obese piece. This looks, looks kind of fresh. So like you got clean legible letters that's you know it's kind of cool yeah a lot of this style popped up in the past five years no more just around uh, 2020 the pandemic this writer's been around a while obese got some pretty nice letters on this piece Good colors, you know, got, got basic styles. This guy's got his style of his own.
peso. If you look back in some of my other videos, I got some other spots that guy did.